Hey guys, what's up? Liam here. I've got two juicy Proton updates for you to talk about today. The first of 2023 as Valve continues the long road towards getting Proton compatibility into a state where it can run as many games developed for Windows as possible. As a reminder, Proton is available for Steam Deck with SteamOS and Linux desktop distributions. The first of the updates is for Proton Experimental, which is Valve's testbed for stuff not ready to go out for everyone. The update for January 6th gets Gungrave Gore working. It fixes up Life is Strange Remastered crashing at the end of Chapter 2. It fixes up Alt Tab not working on the GNOME 43 Linux desktop environment. And they've also improved force feedback compatibility for Beam NG and Forza Horizon 5. The bigger one though, and much more exciting, is the update to Proton Next. I talked a bit about this Proton version in a previous video. Essentially, Proton Next is the last step before a Proton version goes out as the main stable version for everyone. With Proton Next now having Proton 7.0-6 available in it for final testing. So Proton Next with Proton 7.0-6 inside now has playable Gotham Knights, Uncharted A Legacy of Thieves Collection, Heroes of the Dark, Super Arcade Racing, Crazy Machines 3, King Under the Mountain, Nin Nin Days 2, and a Mahjong Ladies game. Apart from that, there are loads of games that have fixes like Septaricore, Persona 5 Royal, Vampire Survivors, Zeepkist, Overcooked All You Can Eat, Quake 3 Arena and Quake 3 Team Arena. There's a fix for the new EA launcher displaying a blank window. They fixed up multiple issues with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Marvel Snap now works in it. Sackboy A Big Adventure is fixed. Spyro Reignited Trilogy is fixed. Jurassic World Evolution 2 is fixed, and the list goes on. They also improved video playback for Outriders and Together Island, and also they updated their version of Wine Mono to 7.4-0, which is their .NET replacement. And they also updated the DXVK NV API. This is what gives all the special NVIDIA features like DLSS, Reflex, and so on for desktops. Obviously, the Steam Deck doesn't use that. As a reminder, you can set any game in your Steam library to use any version of Proton of your choosing. All you've got to do is pick the game, go into the settings icon on the far right, select properties, and from there go into the compatibility menu, tick the box, and then from the drop down box select whatever version you want. All the versions of Proton that you have installed get updates like any other game in your Steam library. They will show up in your downloads list when they need an update. And for any that you don't have installed or you want to make sure that they're installed, you can just search for Proton in your Steam library and it will list all the different versions. So it shouldn't be too long now before Proton 7.0-6 actually moves from Proton Next to become the main Proton 7 version. Hopefully it fixes up some games that you're interested in. Be sure to let me know in the comments how you get on playing with it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.